Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Storm here. Today we have a really quick and fun video. I just want to film a what's in my bag slash review of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I have mine in the GM size in the Zamir Bean. Looking this bag up and people would always say the print of the bag so many different ways. People would just say DE to make it short and they wouldn't have to say the Zamir Bean or I don't even want to repeat what I've heard other people say. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly but we're gonna call it the Zamir Bean and <laughs> it's basically the checker pattern. So, oh gosh, and this is what it looks like. I would say I got mine about a year ago, and I got mine in the New York City location in Manhattan. Oh my gosh, that is one of the cons about having the GM size, which is the bigger size, is that you pretty much throw everything and the kitchen sink into that bag. So the bag is so heavy, but I'm so excited to show you guys what's in this bag. So let's talk about the outside first. I picked the Damier Bean because it's one of the most durable canvases within the Louis Vuitton line. I also got my initial hot stamped on there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm bringing it to you guys. So when I went into the location, I knew I've been researching this bag for a couple of months. As you know, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull is the tote version that they have. Of their bag they have three sizes and they have the pm the mm and the gm so the pm is the smaller one mm is the middle one and the gm is the big zaddy and i'm located about four and a half hours from the city so in upstate new york a four hour drive down i was pumped it's like okay i know what bag i want i know what size but as you research people are telling you to try on every size to see you know which one you really want because the GM is huge and it doesn't look that way on camera. I drove down to get this bag. I arrived about 9 a.m. I was one of the first people in the store. I knew what I wanted, but I also wanted to check out all the different sizes that they had. So they showed me the MM and the GM. I knew that I was not going to even look at the PM because just no. I don't know what I would do with that bag. The MM looked like an Easter basket. It was so small, very much used to big bags. So I knew that this was going to be the bag for me. So funny story about why I got a heat stamp and why I have the luggage tag is when I first bought the bag, I told them that I would want to get a luggage tag and they wouldn't sell me it because I didn't have the luggage that the luggage tag goes to. So I was like, okay, I'll just get it heat stamped and I'll come back and pick it up. So there are a couple of um, Louis Vuitton stores in the city. I went to a couple of different ones and the next location that I went to, they actually sold me a luggage tag and it was great. They sold it to me and they didn't ask for anything and they just put my initials on it as well. Kind of overkill. So that's why I have it hot stamp and then that's why I have this luggage tag. Um, this was my first luxury purchase and I feel like the Neverfull is always one of the first purchases for everyone when they join the luxury Louis family because it's just such an iconic bag. Um, anywhere you go, anywhere you see it, you know that it is Louis. I also have this nice little charm on the outside that I had someone make for me. It's a really cute fiberglass uh, bear. So now let's get into what's actually in my bag. First, I always have a Starbucks cup in there filled with water. Always need to stay hydrated, which this is my Chanel key pouch has my car keys in there, it has my house keys, my office keys, uh, and mailbox key. So that's in there. Then I have this Sephora pouch, and this just holds a lot of my lipsticks. This doesn't always travel with me, but sometimes it does, depending on where I'm going. If I'm in the office, this is usually on my desk, but if I'm out and about and I'm gonna be taking pictures, I'm gonna be going somewhere for the evening, it's in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. But yeah, it's just like another Sephora pouch. Now this one is my true ride or die. It's always in my bag. Just a catch-all. So I'll put different things in there. First up, we have a bag filled with a brush. A Tati Blendiful, the small one in here, the baby Blendiful. So I use this for touching up when I'm on the go. So that's what's in there. And then we also have a sponge, a Juno & Co sponge that's cut in half. 
Um, I use this to excess oil when I'm on the go. If you don't know that little tip, if you have a sponge, but you want to make sure that you clean it regularly too, but if you have a sponge and a dry sponge, it soaks up excess oil so well, better than any blotting paper or a tissue paper. It doesn't take away any of your makeup and it just gets away the excess oil pretty nicely. What else do we have in here? I have my Jouer Pearl Lip Enhancer for my lips. I always need something on my lips so that they're not dry and cracked. So next I have an Urban Decay Brow Blade in here in the color Brunette Betty. And the actual pencil side is actually finished. So that's why the cap is missing, but the ink side is still holding up well. So sometimes in the morning if I'm rushing, um, and I don't get to do sides of my brow, I'll touch up with this pen. Or if I'm sweating, sometimes I go to the gym. So I'll use this as a touch up. If you don't know this about me, I am a true girly girl. If my makeup is on and it's intact, I want it to stay that way for the day. So I'm going to have uh, necessary things in my bag to make sure that my makeup stays flawless. So I actually have two uh, Jouer lip enhancers in here. I also have my AirPods in this bag. You never know when you're gonna need some music to- Okay. I'm always gonna be dropping things, but, so I have my AirPods in here. You never know when you're gonna need music. I have this purse holder in here and it's pretty cool. So if you're ever out at lunch or anything and you don't wanna have your bag on the floor or you don't wanna have your bag taking up a chair because sometimes people can get mad at that. I don't understand why, but I'm not going to put my bag on the floor. Excuse me? No, thank you. Um, so this is basically it hooks onto the table and then you can hook your bag onto it. And then I have a charger base in here. I also have a charger somewhere. The charger should be in this bag, but it's not in this bag. That's how organized you see I am. So there's a charger base for my phone. You never want to be out and about without having your phone. Ooh. Lastly, within that pouch, I have mascara. So like I said, um, usually when I leave the house, I don't do my eyelashes. I wait to get to work and then I put my eyelashes on and then I do all that stuff. I, don't, I, I be running late. I be running behind in the morning. So I'll have my little travel mascara, especially like if I'm going out to dinner or something. And you know how you can't rush mascara because then it gets all over your eyelids. That's it for what's in this pouch. I have my sunglasses or my sunglasses are supposed to be in this case. I have my Ray-Bans case. Uh, they're currently empty. They're usually sunglasses in here. I have some tissues. Uh, notorious. I have allergies. My nose is always running, so I always need tissue. I have some lotion, some travel size lotion. This lotion smells so good. I actually got it at one of the hotels I stayed at when I was traveling for work. It just smells, oh, you know how like, you meet a guy and he smells like muscular and masculine. I don't know how you can smell like that, but this is exactly what this smells like. It is called uh, Citron and Vitir. I don't know. And it's called Le Grand Bagnier. It's, it looks like it's French. I don't know, but it smells really good. So we have one glove. I'm, I don't know where the other glove is. I'm sure I'll find it once I'm done digging through, but I usually have my gloves in here. Like I said, I live in upstate New York. We are currently in May, so these should be out of my bag, but I use these during the winter and I like to have them just in my bag because I don't always have my gloves on when I leave the house because with gloves, they impede you doing things like using your phone or locking your door. And I have my Beats by Dr. Dre in here. Uh, these are the wireless version. I've had them for such a long time. Oh, these are the studio wireless. Uh, they're kind of beat up. As you can see, like the insides are missing from the air muffs. Sometimes I do go to the gym. So I don't like my AirPods for the gym because they don't get me crunk enough. Uh, with my beats, I can turn these all the way up. I can tune the world out. I have an umbrella in here. Uh, I bought this on the base. It has the up and down button. That's the only way that I like umbrellas. Your umbrellas, they just have the button that you push up and it goes up. But this one, the umbrella actually comes back down to you when you press the button again. I love that. Absolutely need that in my bag. Here's the other glove. And then, of course, I have a mask in here. And what is my mask? Of course, my mask is Louis Vuitton. Uh, I had someone make my mask out of canvas. 
me put it on for you guys. So, of course, in today's time, you need a mask. So there's that. I actually have two masks. And then I have this one. This one opens up and goes over your face. Some pearl detail on there. You know, if you have to wear them, why not have them be cute? Then I have some socks in here. Um, why do I have socks in my bag? So like I said, sometimes I like to work out. And in the summer, I'm usually wearing sandals and flip-flops to the office while walking to the office and then I'll have on like flats. Of course, if I'm working out during the day, I'll have my sneakers at the office, but then I don't have socks because I always forget to leave socks at the office. So I always have socks in my bag in case I need to work out or it's raining and I need to put rain boots on or my sneakers on. I have a small mini wallet, one of my Chanel um, small wallets. It's a card holder. So I have my business cards in here. And if I'm out and about and I need to give my business cards to someone, I have them in here. I also have some insurance cards in here. That's about it. This is, I just use this as a card holder. I love the color on this uh, Chanel small wallet. Me feel like I'm right in the middle of summertime. And then I have a lip mask from... It's a K-Beauty brand. I'm not even going to try to say the name. It's a nourishing, caring lip sleeping mask. I use this during the day and at night too. Like I said, my lips always need to be hydrated. Oh, here's my charger. So then I have a magnetic charger that just clips into my phone. Uh, we have another charger. Uh, I know why there's two of them in here. So one is supposed to be in my car and then one is just supposed to be in my bag. Obviously, I have not gotten the one in my car yet have some hand sanitizer of course in this day and age you always need some travel hand sanitizer have a panty liner that is smushed up have a sephora store credit card we have some miscellaneous receipts that i don't need I, and then i have my card holder that has my credit card my company card and my ids in there as well as some cash that's where i keep my cash um actually i'm lying I have some more cash that I keep in the zipper part of my bag. Don't know why. And I should be more organized. Put my cash in my card holder. And then I have a little scrunchie in here. Like I said, I work out. So when I need to go to the gym, put my hair up. You know, put that work, work, work in. Get work, that work. work. I have the uh, wristlet that comes with the bag. I use it for change. So what I have in here is a lot of change. So if I'm going out to the meter or something, I have change in there. So I have my Tatcha Beauty paper in here. So basically, this is just blotting paper. And then this is also where I'll put receipts if I'm traveling for work. I have my company credit card. And to use my credit card, I need to retain the receipts so that they know what I was eating. They know what business purpose it's for. So I put my receipts in this bag. So it's basically just a little first aid kit that has some band-aids in it. I have a comb. You never know when going to need a comb. Love that in there so extra and then i have some uh pepto bismol tablets and some um advil tablets in here as well and then i have a tide to go pen in here never know when you're going to need it and when you have a spill or something so i'm always prepared have some pens and a tampon you never know when you're going to need either i guess I have some wipes in a Ziploc bag. Honestly, I usually try to or refill them every two weeks. I think these are, have been dry as hell. Yeah, these are dry as hell. I'm going to need to replace them. So, of course, I have not been going out anywhere because of the pandemic. So, But I usually like to have um, baby wipes in here. You just never know when they're going to come in handy. I do have my Hunter Education Certificate in here because I do hunt sometimes. I also have um, my pistol license. So my pistol license is in my card holder, I think. That's it guys. I think that's all I have in my bag. And I do have the base shaper in here. So that's what gives the bag some shape. And that's what I have all my stuff in. So without it, this is what the bag looks like. The bag like has no shape whatsoever without the base shaper in there. It just crumbles. You can fold it up. So I, I would never, I would never walk around with my bag looking like this. I just don't know. Like, and then the bottom part starts to sag as well. 
if without you don't. the organizer in there it's basically a black hole in there you won't be able to see anything so that's why i put the shaper in there and another reason why i went for the gm size is because you can go ahead and cinch the sides in to make it a smaller bag so of course when you're like buying things and looking things up you're like oh i'm gonna use that all the time i'm gonna be cinching this together taking it out i don't do none of that nonsense sometimes i'll do it but usually i'll just wear it out let me cinch it together for you guys it has no type of shape i don't understand how people could use this bag without the base shaper in there so this is how it looks when the sides are cinched in together like i said that's another reason why i got it i love that it looks like a completely different bag i like that and you can just tuck it under your arm and have it cinched in so that's gonna be it for the end of the video guys what did you think about what i have in my purse what do you have in your purse what do you think are the essential items that you need in your purse and am i missing some of those essential items if i am let me know down in the comments below See you guys later.